God, I missed the shit out of this. Woo! All right, coming back. <laughs> so it's just you just gotta do it. You gotta stay focused and don't tell yourself you can't do it. Don't tell yourself that. And then I set a timer for two minutes and I'm gone for like four minutes. <laughs> And all credibility evaporated in that moment. Oh, shit, that's funny. <laughs> hey, by the way, I'm playing Diablo 3 Necromancer this Friday, and I have not played Diablo in a billion years. Um, but let's see, we're against a paladin. I think it's okay to keep this. I would encourage you, if you are interested, to meet up with the other day knights who are going to be playing Diablo 3 in... Um, Ooh. You are not the, boss of me. the other players who are going to be playing Diablo 3 um, in the Discord. Because in the Discord, we've already created a... Actually, just now created a text channel for folks to straight up meet the shit out of each other. I kind of want a second Siphon Soul in this deck. Um, so if any of you want to play with the new season reset, with Necromancer being out, that's what I'm going to be doing. So, uh, if you guys want to play with me on Friday, hop in the Discord. Specifically play alongside me. There's a limited number of people that can play with me. If, if you fucking know what I mean. Now, do I want to hero power in? I think I want to hero power in to get more good drawer dons. Feral's Law says, Day 9, curious for your perspective on the limits of your philosophy you were just talking about. If I'm understanding you right, you don't believe in I can't. I think it's a useful philosophy to apply to others, primarily an intro introspective tool. I work really hard to be super diligent about not being judgmental because I don't I don't know what other people are like. I only know what's inside my own head, you know. Fuck! I have discarded nothing! Oh, the next turn is going to be a nice turn. Um. Shit. It's a fucking serious egg, man. No, they're not good. That was a mistake. You know, if someone's like, I'm gonna get you three things done coming up, and they get like one thing done. You know, de depending on what it is, if it's like a work situation, I wanna have a talk with them, but you know, I'm not gonna. Oh my god, what a dumbass. You know, I'm not gonna go super hardcore on shitting on them. Oof. Um, another thing is that, like, I, I've, it comes and goes. Like, sometimes I just get, like, super depressed and I just, like, don't do anything. I'm just like, ugh. I'm just like a big, wet sock. I'm all bummed out and shit. There, there are certain times when I do, for lack of a better word, get sharply judgmental about, yay. The ways in which another person is behaving in terms of a professional setting where um you know th there there's all sorts of professional issues that come up things like i'll definitely get those three things done by friday and i actually don't think it's possible to get those three things done by friday so one will slip that's human that's totally human to kind of stretch for and to fail there's a person who's like i'll get those three things done by tomorrow and that's actually don't, do you understand how to scope your time? Because you can't do that. You need at least eight weeks to do that, right? You cannot will it into existence. Okay. Oh. Brain. Whatever. Um, but the, there's also the flip side of that. I, I, I have 
worked with people where it is very clear that these are the three things that need to get done. So I need to do these three things coming up and get them me on Friday. And then they get two things done. Yeah. Even want to hero power? By the holy light. Nah, it seems risky. Those three things, and then I get get the piece of work, and it's like thing one is done and thing three is done. And I'm like, dude, two is not done. Whoa! Well, I lose unless I get a good taunt straight. Are we kidding me right now? All right, I just lost a fucking dino size. All right, let me try again. This time, justice demands retribution. All right, ready to fly. You'll have your lethal and to eat it too. That's my quest, by the way. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh. Might cut one corrupting mist to put in a twisting nether, but corrupting mist is Gul'dan versus It's all right. Jaina. It's okay. You asked for it. Your soul shall be mine. Mm, something like that. All right, let's go, mage. It's Lakari time. Amazing. Oh, this has been one of the most unsuccessful days of laddering ever. It's awesome. All right, I'm actually tapping to try to get some discarders. Reason dictates is the biggest work pet peeve is when someone asks for help, not because they need help, but because they don't want to do the work for themselves. Fucking yeah, right. The boss, the boss of me. Sure, if you're not the boss of me. Do you want to be? Do you want snugs? Okay. Hi. Let the pain speak to me. Do you want, do you want to look inside this cup? Let me drink. Let me drink the water first. Would you look at that? Isn't that insane? Those are ice cubes. Yeah, get get in there. Get in there. Figure it out. Get get back to me with your results. I think these guys killed. Yeah. Is looking at it from the new angle helping? Here, let me look with you. Oh, that's nice, but like, look. Look at it. What do you think? The hmm. end is coming! Thank fucking God, man. Gotta be careful about overdrawing. That's a good one to shuck out. You get in there. Get your little paw in there. That's good. It's only where I put my mouth. All right. Did you, did you hit on any interesting results? Any new learnings that uh, maybe you can take home? Seems like you're having a hard time. This 
I love this fucking cat. This cat is amazing. Like, literally the most 10 out of 10 cat that has ever lived. That's Hearthstone. She's really into the animations. Hey, look, look at this mouse. No, right, right here. You see this? This guy that's moving around? You just, you just want to look at my hand. That's nice. Hi. Oh yeah, it's her little head. She's just the sweetest cat. Hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Does it smell okay? Is that good? All right. Yep. Let's do a little cleaning. A little cleaning's good. Actually, know of a change I'm gonna make. I'm gonna cut a hellfire. This is, yeah, cut a hellfire and put in a twisting nether. Goodbye, little kid. Oh. God, that cat is cute as hell, man. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Not Alex Straza. Woo! <laughs> Carcasus' as Sheriff is my second favorite cat, and I own two cats. Yeah, the cats can be real pieces of shit, dude. Cats can be absolute jerks. Can't drink this water anymore. Cause it's all full of Toxoplasma Gandhi, man. Can you believe this? Like, this deck completes the quest consistently. The danger is overdrawn. Let the pain speak to me. You know what you should let the pain do. You should let it speak to you. I'm finding it hard to believe. I'm telling you, man, the Corrupting Mists are, are... It's a card that I did not consider until I actually started to go through everything one by one. And then I was watching Hot Form play and he was doing this shit. Oh shit, you wanna get milled? Oh my god, there's a lot of good discard targets, but... Oh yeah! Oh, you're welcome! Master Ray Delta says there's no guarantee anything, but you can try a feedback email for Dan on TV. Yeah, you can just, just send it to Sean at day9.tv if you want to shoot me an email. Hit me with that Sean at day9.tv action. Actually, do I want a, t a second Twisting Nether or do I want a second Siphon Soul? I think I want a second Siphon Soul. I think it's the Siphon Soul is where I'm at. It's where I'm feeling it. Five cards left. Kengar, five cards. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Guess who you face? Jarax, Aradar, Lord of the Burning Legion. Ah! Yeah, Magistrate Delta knows about that. I don't know about, about Magistrate Delta because I blocked him on Twitter and I have no idea why. Absolutely no idea. Twitter, it's much better now, but the old interface. It was like, it was like one button like block and I, I, I go like scroll tap, scroll tap, scroll tap to like zoom and stop and zoom and stop. An 
And I guess I just fucking banned him. Like, I have no idea how this happened. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I ran out of lungs. Really, it, it like surprised me. He's like, hey, you just wanted to let you know he banned me on Twitter and I really love to be unbanned. I like your content. <laughs> because in this story, Master A Delta is Morty. Um, <laughs> he probably tweeted some shit to me like, hey man, love what you do. And I was like, oh, another. Ugh, this motherfucker. I actually don't think I can even win this matchup. Not even once. Hey, Mr. Nine, my name is Magistrate Delta. I'm really sorry if I've done anything wrong, but I went through my feet and I haven't seen anything uh, that I could have done, but I don't know. If you want to maybe give me feedback of what I could have done better, I'd really appreciate that. I don't know. I... I'm almost out of cards. <laughs> you face Deractus. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> There's other people that are like, hey, hey, I, you banned me. I was wondering if you could ban me, unban me. You know, it'd be really great if you could do that. And then I like look at their feed, and I'm like, well, dude, you told me to go fuck myself after I tweeted about chess. Jesus, man. No, I'm glad you're banned. And I mean, I don't respond to those emails. I'm not like, I'm glad you're banned. C c control V, like paste, like look at this. Look at this tweet. But I just don't understand like the gall of some people where I'm like, really cool chess match happening. Excited to have seen it. Someone's like, go fuck yourself, Day9. And I'm like, and you don't exist anymore. Woo! Oh my god, this guy who used to exist doesn't. Oh, it feels fantastical. This is fine. <laughs> there's, there's some people who just like hate you. <laughs> like, no matter what you do. All right, should I play the sucker butt? Why not? I'm gonna discard all the high value. No way. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. You see that? You see that shit? All right, we need the doom gourd. Do you uh, recommend any good chess matches? I really like Ginger GM. I don't know if you guys know, there's a player named Ginger GM. Who is fucking sensational. He's incredible even. Um, As the master wishes. No! <laughs> Ginger GM. Bam! Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Bam! <laughs> I've got an idea here, yet yeah. he's like this <laughs> fucking red-headed British chess master who just has like this super thick accent and plays with... He like drinks beers and like plays chess. And he's just wildly entertaining. He's amazing. Oh, what up, Daylon Hierarch? Good to see you again, man. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Alright, die, him, him, one. Alright, all I need to do is just draw in. Oh my god, I'm gonna clock him right in his doom gourd. Funk. Funk. 
<laughs> That's actually his Twitter, is it? It's his drink spear place, Jess. Blessed be this funnel cake. Have you seen the funnel cake today? Die, die. See, dude, look at this. I've got a disco lock consistently completing Lakari's sacrifice, because I'm amazing at this game. And when I lose, it's not my fault. It's a shame. If this deck does better than all the decks we've done today, then I'm going to just call myself a genius, never play net deck decks ever again, uninstall the game, reinstall the game, play it later tonight, bam. All the motion. Uh, yeah, we're gonna just like like tippity tap. I discard the Nether portal. It's true commitment. <laughs> that is that is awesome. Can't stand these Nether portals. I mean, dude, it's so awesome. I just have I just have like built in. Rampaging, overwhelming control. Look at Himyam, who thinks the Lakari sacrifice decks blow, but I'm gonna roast this kid. Send him back to Priest Town. How does even I do? I just don't even know how to. Uh. Um. Yeah, I might just play Clutch Mother Zavas. But she's at the juicy four-four stature. Play Alex Straws the next turn, 7 to 15, bring the pain in on him. Boom. Alright. No fucks given. I don't even give a. Look at this board of imps swelling, spilling over him. It's me, Academy. This is fucking mage. So I see on ladder and I hate it. Yeah, and the best anti-mage deck is mage. You just get there first. If you think that's gonna fucking save you, mate. Let's see. Three and three is six. Six and... Yeah, we got him. Boom. All right, let's close it out. Let's close the game out with the W, man. I am Lakari's sacrifice. Antimate should be a hero in Hearthstone. <laughs> The trick to this deck is that really I don't have anything else aggressive in here. Everything is discard, discard synergy, and then defensive cards. And 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 that's how you fucking slay it. Happy midsummer. Beware of forest fires. Chiba eighty four hundred one says I was having a discussion with some other grad students and postdocs, and we realized. We don't know where our degrees are for anything. We all don't know where our degrees are for anything we've completed. I was wondering if you knew where your degrees were. Oh, like, like, where's my, where, where literally is the degree? I used to have a degree in a thing. Yeah, they're on my bookshelf. I can show them. I can show you them. Fancy schmancy degrees. You are not the boss of me. This one, fuck me, goddammit, son of a bitch. You've gotta be kidding the shit out of me. Come on. 
It's exactly... Come on, man! Ah, oh, why is it that I can never flip the coins in the way that I need to flip them? My diplomas are beautiful. They're not... They're clean and... Cl you know, they don't have any that... I can't talk. The joke's ruined. I'm gonna get to do the joke anyways. This joke sucks now, but I'll still, still shit it out. They're beautiful, they're clean, they're not cluttered up with any of that graduated with honors nonsense. Hmm. Actually, that's an unbelievably shit turn of events for him, so I'm gonna go in. Ha ha ha. Kangar Tigar. Alright, let's get let's get the sucker butt to chuck down the ever so critical card. Okay, it just needs to not discard that one. Oof. Okay, now technically both of these are good, but really one of them is amazing. Okay, that's fine, whatever. It is pretty amazing, isn't it? It's just, I just do amazing work. Do you want to trade away? Trade away and save your life? That's the thing, is that most people expect these disco locks to be, like, unbelievably aggro. But this one is a little bit more conservative. I mean, it still plays a lot of men on the board. But it's gonna be Jeremy. Let's fucking go, Jeremy. I'll get good trades on you, son. That's right, you best trade off. Trade off before we send this parade off. That one can go in, that one can go to the face. But... Uh oh. Who's got more staying power now, Jeremy? You druid fuck. God, I hope he doesn't have living mana, that would really suck. Ah, it's an angry dog. Yeah, you can trade there, that's fine. A legitimate decision if you want Jeremy. I'm gonna have to life tap, you know. You could also chuck your face right into Clutch Mother Zavas because you think I'm an aggro deck. Unbelievable. Jeremy's grounded. Alright, here it comes. Time for the draw a Roni. It's actually disappointingly important for living mana. Oh, where are my discard effects, man? I've done three of six? Okay. Got it. I kind of have to Corrupting Mist this, because I want to keep digging into my deck. Um, and I... Okay. I'm telling you, this deck completes the quest, man. This deck completes the fucking quest. Unless Jeremy just run himself down a Hydralisk. I can see. Boom! He he can't handle the imps. Dude, it's the it's like the only deck we've gotten a win streak with today. Might be on to something. The Day 9 Disco has come to town. Corrupting Mist, the clutch card. So the card you just sincerely don't give a fuck about discarding. <laughs> Alright, well we found the secret. The secret is we needed the Disco Lock. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. This is like really emasculating. As cool as it feels, you know, socially to be like, uh, hit legend again, brr. Yeah, screw that. All negated today, man. Aggro decks only. This is like very clearly a gradual deck. You wanna cast a spell? I wanna cast a spell. 
please chuck a stone hill. Please, not this. Yeah! Yeah! Pow! It's me, the aggro disco lock. That's right. Boom, run it right in there, you happy book ass. Bam, Hellfire, don't even need it. Next card, boom, Siphon Soul. Might chuck it, not a problem. Lakari Fellhound 2, um... Oh, whatever, man. I'll slam down that sweet Lakari. Hellfire and this are fine. Ah! Go away, go away. Nobody is around you. I gotta stop singing that. I have to stop that. It's maddening. It's devastating to my career, actually. Alright, Pixel Heart. Might think you're Pixel Smart, but you actually smell like Pixel Fart. No! Uh, the Makers! Alright, what are we at? Is it a Doom Guard? It can't be a Doom Guard. It's fine, it was just the best one. Whatever, disco cards are sturdy as all hell, man. This deck completes the quest. Yeah, Frost Bolt, I don't give a shit. Hurts a little bit, but I'll allow it. Alright, time to draw a spell so we can actually get this down. Alright. Let's dig till we get a spell. Oh god. <laughs> Shit. Well, I'm bopping straight into this 3-3. Three, three. Well. <sighs> Unacceptable says, hey, Sean, I'm always afraid of doing anything new, like getting a job or talking to people. How do I overcome this fear? You stay afraid, do it anyways. Just get used to doing stuff while afraid. And I mean that with every bit of sincerity. You don't need to feel confident. You don't need to feel good about it. Half the time I do shit with people, I don't feel good about it. <laughs> Not the spell I was hoping for. I'm about to take so fucking much damage, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I hate these mages. I hate mages so much. That was a bit of a rough run out, but, you know. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm not winning this. Whew. You know, as ridiculous as it sounds, I'm actually gonna jam an Eater of Secrets in this stupid deck. It is like the most teched card right now. 
And mages are just like, yeah, but you just have so many secrets. He can eat all of them he wants, you just have more. Have a mouthful. Yep. Alright, let's get let's get some silverware golems out. Let's get the clutch mother Zavas out. Alright, Solrak. Happy midsummer. Beware the forest. Only Hugh can prevent Flora's Friars. How lucky is Sean? Not that lucky! Good. Lakari Ding Dong. This card's good. This card is also a card, but this card's good. I'll find it. Ah yes, the Lakari Ding Dong. Corrupting Mist is actually really nice to like throw down the Corrupting Mist, put up a bunch of shitty taunts, and then the board just resolves itself later. Silverware Golem one time. I feel a lot of shame. What do we got? Three of six? Feeling good. This deck completes the quest, though. It completes the shit out of the quest. And I've been playing it a lot. You see that? Okay, I'm gonna play the Darkshire Libertarian. Yes! Marginal value achieved! Oh, that's it. There it is. Bam, blow. The fliggity fliggity flow. Boom, boom, tsh, dum, bam, doo, 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 doo. I actually think that with a few tweaks, Warlock quest is one of the most fair quests out there, man. Because it sucks. When it's done, and you know, your opponent doesn't give a fuck. You just keep playing cards and you fall behind. It's a fair quest, man. It's the fairest shit I have ever heard in my life. Oh, come on. One time. Let's get two of them out there. Boom! That's how it's done. Bam! Right in the teeth. Just, just crunching in. And you know what druids suck at dealing with? Boards, motherfucker. He can't even handle this. I'm on fire! I am clutch! I am clutchness! What a rush! Oh my god, it's literally just straight up a jady guy. Yeah, no, get your get your scales, dude. Yeah, let's get all scaling gross up in this shit, man. I don't care. What even do I wish to do, huh? I'll find it. Crack right into that. Blam. Draw a card. Run this in. Boom. Clear this one out, huh? Let's get this one out of here, man. Let's just create some more problems for him. Boom. Run this out. Corrupting mist. Oh shit, Tarlark is kind of good, but. There it is. What you gonna do, JD guy? Your guys get bigger? Mine stay the same, and they keep coming out. Yeah. <sighs> you guys are gonna see the power of corrupting mist coming up soon, man. This is gonna be so sick. You're gonna be like, oh. I don't want to play that, but 
some ramps. There it is! Oh, who wins? Infinite three twos or infinite ever growing golems? I think I win. I think I win, my friends. Lunar visions, huh? Hmm. Quo indeed. <laughs> what? Ooh, that's, that's pretty cool. Yes, wow. I don't have that much discard left, I don't care. Alright, summon the Greebles! Greeble mode, engage. God, if he has one dragon, it's gonna really roast us. <laughs> Disco lock. some clutch cards coming up on down that pipeline not being able to kill the 7-3 sucks it sucks a lot we're gonna do our best though what's coming down for five I think Lotus Agent is a terrible card That grinds its way through. It will slowly but surely get there. Unless he just has two feral rages, in which case we will instantly die. Why run Primordial Drakes when you got the Iron Bark Protector? This is very clearly a budget Jade Druid that I am struggling hard against. Balance in all things. Balance in all things. We're playing till we lose. When we lose, that's when we're out. That's when we're out for the night. My life is your shield. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out to Corrupting Mist that actually did a non-zero amount of productive stuff for us. Look at this though. This is pretty cool, huh? Don't pull a Jeff says, how would you personally rate the quest decks in terms of your enjoyment? What has been your favorite? Far and away the mage deck is my favorite. Like by a wide margin. It's just so fun, because you're just like, oh god, and then BAM! You get it, and you win immediately. <laughs> it's just I'm telling you, man, we can barely get there. Like, you just don't care. I value taunts so highly. I value health so much. Slowly but surely.
This is it. This is the deck. Warlock is the new Johnny. Don't have it. Just play like a jade thing. Oh my god. Yeah! Disco lock is the best. Oh god. Alright, just once I want to go turn one Lakara Sacrifice, turn two Succubus that discards Silver War Golem. I haven't gotten it in ages. Going to PAX West this year? Happy I'm not. I'm not. Fire Festival. How do you moderate the speed of letting out the clutch? <laughs> Well, you know what? I also want to cast a spell. We can't all just go around casting spells, though, can we? By corrupting mist. Ah, <sighs> yes, 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 yes. I feel that I'm the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. My awesomeness is clear. Oh, bull. Let's get Clutch Mother Zavis. Let's get a Silverware Golem. Siphon Soul, okay. As weird as that is, I think you do this, because now he kind of has got to do this right here. Alright, let me hang on to this imp. Probably a mirror entity. It's not counter spell. Excuse me, you are on fire. <laughs> Do nothing, fire breather. An incredible discovery. C'est incroyable. Yeah. Mother Zavis, Silverware Golem one time. This deck completes the quest.
please. 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 Please don't. Please. Hard time in my life. That turn. Okay. We're gonna complete the quest, but we have nothing that pumps our health back up, so we gotta be ultra careful, you know? Oh my gosh, we even we have an Eater of Secrets within the deck, though. Lakari? Oh. oh god, I hate mages so much. They're so stupid. Let's chuck this twisting nether into the void, yeah. It's gonna be countered anyways. Oh, I'm late. I'm late. Always late, huh? I really fucked up very badly just now. Do you all see why? I needed to save that spell for right before I threw down Lakari Sacrifice. That's what I needed to do. This guy's about to approach infinity. Don't play another, don't you dare play another secret. God, I don't want to discard the quest. What's, what is the mage class identity? That's not the button I wanted to hit. I want to hit this button so you can just see how sad I am. In six months, I won't even be able to look sad because all you'll be doing is admiring how hot I am. Mm. Power hot goals. Seriously, you know, you know what actually got me right back and working out hard again? I rewatched Deadpool, and there's a scene where you can see Ryan Reynolds' butt straight on, and I just thought I want to have that butt, that butt right there. That's the fucking butt. I want that butt on me. I don't know if the solution is to like, like get a bone saw and remove the butt and glue it to my butt because my butt's pretty, pretty like ten year old, like tight, like just small flat butt. Like it's very underdeveloped butt. But like if I could get a Ryan Reynolds butt, that's like hot air balloons. Like I want the the huge mmm, and so um. 
I, I informed Heroes of Fitness that I wanted this, and they've given me squats and glute exercises right away. So I'm just like, ooh. And let me tell you, at the end of the year, I am I'm gonna be shameless. I'm going to it's gonna be no shame o'clock when I'm hot. I'm gonna be like, all right guys, let me just get some water. I'm gonna stand and be like, ooh, and like just push my huge butt right against the camera. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna get an emote, and the emote is literally gonna be my left butt cheek and my right butt cheek, and you just like put them together. So you can even have individual butts. It'll be amazing. Uh, <laughs> uh, tomorrow I'm going to do Day 9 Learns Dota with good old Kurt Coach Poyage. That's fucking right. See you tomorrow, guys. Have a great day. I've also played this song like five times. I see no reason not to play it again. It's great.